Hello, and welcome to my video, Cryptid Spotlight Black-Eyed Children. Stories of evil children have been around for many centuries, and the trend has become something even more terrifying. While most people see children as pure innocence, there are a few that break this stereotype. These children can take the form of ages ranging from 6 to 16 years of age. Some sightings report to children wearing black hoods, but more often than not, they just try to avoid eye contact. At least at first. Skeptics write this phenomenon off as being part of one of the creepypasta genre, but reports of this has predated the collections of those writings. No one is quite certain what these beings are. Some say that they are demons, others state they are aliens. What can be agreed upon is the fact that they are meant to cause harm upon the unwary. These children normally show up in pairs with one being really young and rarely talks and the second being quite a bit older and more vocal. Their tone is monotone in nature and, may, and many who have encountered them feel it is almost hypnotic in nature. Normally what happens is that a person is alone and suddenly gets an uneasy feeling. The person then notices two kids ranging in age approaching their location. The older of the two asks to use the victim's phone if at home or for a ride because they are lost if the victim is approached near the vehicle. The black-eyed kids choose to utilize needing their parents called or needing a ride to the home to try to pull at people's trusting nature towards lost kids. Many of the reports mention that the victims felt inclined to help until they noticed the children's dark black pupilless eyes. Once this feature is noticed, a feeling of dread as to harm is coming to the victim is commonly felt. A frequent standard for the black-eyed children is the fact that they need to be allowed to enter someone's car or house, in that they don't seem to be able to enter without the owner's permission. In all accounts, once the children ask to enter, all conversation is dropped outside of the insistence that they be allowed to come in. Frequently the phrase is uttered that, this won't take long, even if they're approaching someone at a vehicle. No one is quite sure what will happen if you let the children in, but many assume death. While researching this topic, I did find one story where someone did allow the children to enter their home. A woman was roused from her sleep by a knock at the door, and when she answered it, there stood two kids. The oldest one said the younger one needed to use the bathroom, and both were lost. The woman allowed them in, and the younger of the two immediately went upstairs to the bathroom, as if he knew where it was. The older boy then asked to use the phone, and as the woman followed him to the phone, a sense of dread filled her. She asked the boy what their intent was, and the boy turns, showing his black eyes, and says, We were sent to collect you. The woman quickly ran into a nearby room and locked the door. At one point she managed to get to the neighbor's house and call the police, but when her house was inspected, no one was there. After hearing this account, many people wonder one of two things. Who were they referring to when they said that they were sent, and what would have happened if she was unable to escape? Personally, I agree with the human-alien hybrid story, so chances are victims would be abducted. If you follow the demon view, then the victim would be either killed, or worse, turned into what they are. I personally encountered something similar to this back when I was still in college. I was driving home one night, and the town I had to go through had many stoplights. At one point, I came to a red light, and as I was waiting for the signal to change, I suddenly got this eerie feeling. I looked to my left where there was a huge empty parking lot, and before my eyes, three kids just appeared. They all had dark clothing on and the hoods pulled over their heads. One of the three started to approach the truck I was driving, and thankfully the light turned green. While I may consider the fact that it could have just been a couple of teenagers, the fact that they literally appeared in the middle of the parking lot, and the terrifying feeling that I suddenly had, attributed to me believing that these were black-eyed children. Honestly, at the time, I had never heard of black-eyed children, but I did immediately assume that they were demons, 
just because of the feel I got. Well, with that, I will end this video. Hopefully, you aren't watching this or listening to this at night, although I am recording it at night. So, with that, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.